in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create five options timeline slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide looks when i click the first option comes here you can see here i've added one design here at the back and back side and then i've added one icon with the oval shape and then i've added one arrow here and then you can add the year and the title and the detailed text when i click it will show me the second option with different color combination then the third option the fourth option and the fifth option so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the options likewise i have created one more slide where i have just given some small change uh, with the arrow here so depending on your requirement you can just choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape from the basic shape just click it here you end up getting a shape something like this a shape outline make it no outline and then align center align middle then I'm going to add one more shape, go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle like this and you can see a small orange point, just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved, shape outline, make it no outline and then you can give some other color combination, right? And then just bring it here, send this to back and then I'm just going to increase the size a little bit more, you can see here maybe this much size something like this or a little bit further more so that we should have equal spaces all right and then what i'm going to do is we're using this small arrow at the top i'm just going to rotate it rotate it and i'm going to place it something like this all right so make sure that and let me just change this color to some other color so that we know exactly whether we are getting the right spaces or not okay i think this is okay and once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut the bottom portion for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here you can keep this much size at the bottom something like this all right and then i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and i'm going to click on subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this then I'm going to just put it here, all right. And then I'm going to add some lines, go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to select this line, which is freeform shape. Again, from here, I'm going to click it. Let me just zoom in. So you know exactly what I'm trying to do. All right. So I'm just going to click here at this end and one more i'm going to click it here and then i'm going to click one straight line and double click this one you end up getting a shape something like this and shape outline i'm going to give the same color if you want you can just increase the weight of this and if you like to give some uh, dotted lines you can give some dotted lines as well then i'm going to give the arrow end at the end so for that right mouse select right mouse click go to format shape and go to the solid line and here i'm going to say end arrow type as this one so you can see here we have got the arrow here and then depending on the requirement you can add the year or the text for example let me just add the year say 1995 center align make it bold any good font of your choice you can add it all right the font color also i'm going to choose the same font color here i'm going to place it here press ctrl d to duplicate and this is your title comes here all right and make sure that it is properly aligned if you want you can just reduce the size or increase the size and then you can add more detailed text at the bottom again center align maybe the color i'm going to use the gray color reduce the size and i'm going to place it here all right so you can see here this is the first option so let me just select all and press ctrl d to duplicate 
and move this aside you can see here press ctrl d so depending on your requirement how many you need you can just add it and then again based on your choice of colors you can just change the color as per your requirement so i'm just going to give some different color combinations here you can see uh, i'm going to give some different color combinations and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert and click on icons you can add different icons according to the requirement again you can see here i'm just going to add five icons click insert and just bring this up and then height and width i'm going to give as 0.6 and then just add it one by one the icons here you can see here all right so like this the icons we need to add and then i'm just going to select this circle and i want to give some shadow effect for that you can go to the effects and then shadow i'm going to choose this one which is outer bottom right and then if you want you can just increase the distance also all right so you can see here the basic design is ready and then this line color also you can just change it according to the color which you have selected at the top so i'm going to give this as blue this one as the sorry i'm going to give this one or rather this one and here also i'm going to give the same color and this also you need to change it okay so again go to the home tab and then again i'm going to choose the colors as per the color selection at the top all right so you can see here almost we have completed our design yeah and then you can just change the year maybe this is 2005 this could be 2010 2015 and 2021 so you can see here we have done the design go to view remove the guides you can add the title and if you like to add some small animation you can add the animation effect to it now let's add the animation before adding the animation let me just group this select both of this and group it you can select this hold the shift key and select this like this you can just group it one by one and once this is done i'm going to group the text also so i'm going to select the group and press ctrl g so i select the text and press ctrl g to group it you can see here i'm just going to group it and once this is done let's do the animations go to the animations close this one enable the animation pane and then i'm going to select this add animation more entrance effect maybe i'm going to select stretch or any other uh, animation of your choice you can do it select it click ok and then this one i'm going to make it from bottom and then this one i'm going to select more intense effect and select basic zoom and click ok this should happen with previous and then this line should come for that i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe i'm going to give from top and make it after previous and this text also i'm going to give the animation the same which is the stretch and click ok it should start from left and this should happen maybe after previous so if i play it comes something like this now using the animation painter i can just simply copy the animation to the other objects so select this one animation painter click on this and then again i'm going to select this it will come here then i'm going to select the line animation painter click on the line and the text select this one and click on this one like this you can just create the animation for the rest of the objects.